What is up, gents? Derek Bad Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. Uh, I got a Hydra video for you using some champions, obviously, that everybody should be using for Hydra. But we did the highest damage that we've ever done on Hydra with this team. I think uh, Hydra is all about RNG. I think the goal is just to do the uh, uh, max you could do and then log off and then never have to do it again. Uh, it's just, I, I waste so much. I think I'm in 37, 38 minutes right now uh, on, on this video. And there's still another 30 fucking minutes to go. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to have to sit through the entire thing. I started this uh, halfway through. I was like, you know what? Actually, we're, we're going pretty good. Let me just hit the record button. And then I recorded it uh, while I was working. But at the end of this, I'll go over the champions, what their stats look like, what gear they have, uh, masteries, all, all that stuff. But I just wanted you guys to see that obviously Ishmael is such a good champion for Hydra, just taking away the fear. They did just buff the other legendary champion uh, that could take away fears as well. I don't have him, but if you do have him, I'm sure he could he could replace uh, Ishmael. But uh, Cantra, we did. Uh, I actually have to do an updated video on her because she's fucking amazing. Uh, Sio, I changed it up to do, to be PVE, more like doing damage uh, in a relentless set. And then uh, everybody else you've seen before. So obviously you have Geo, um, you have Lydia, because she's amazing, and Royal Guard. So Royal Guard, we have, I think, four Royal Guards. Um, this is our best one. It's got a Relentless set on him, so we can potentially go multiple times. I saw Ash's video where he thought of doing um, the one where you reset the cooldown of skills, because he doesn't really need to do his A3, but honestly, I do his A3 uh, a lot because I do have accuracy on him. We have uh, 245 accuracy, and then with Cantra in the lead, we have about 300 accuracy on him because his A3 does slow uh, targets. So if you need a slow up um, without having Sio in here to, to hit her slow, um, you could put it on a head that's already killed. You can put it on the head that you were trying to provoke to put another debuff on him. So trying to land those debuffs with uh, Royal Guard actually is a benefit. So. I do build mine with a little bit of accuracy. And he's still in a relentless set just so he can go multiple times. So that one gear set won't really work for me because I am using his uh, A3, it is? A2, A3? I am using his A3 often, so I can't really use that set. So I would recommend relentless to go as much as possible. All right, so what do we have here? So, um, the goal, once you get to these later turns, is really just to focus down other uh heads because the left head is going to be hit with the aoe um and if you keep focusing down you're going to kill it and if it's and if that head's not up and you have like let's say the provoke head or something else you have to kill the provoke head as soon as possible the whole goal is to keep that head up as long as humanly possible um while doing damage to the other heads the fire head is, is going down pretty fast because we put geo's fire uh ability on him so every time there's an aoe hit uh that guy gets hit back so Geo is just so clutch with this team. And now notice that my Cantra is about to be eaten, but there's no provoke um, head up right now. So I don't really need Cantra. I don't care about Cantra being eaten right now. We're gonna get her out anyway. Um, but if there was a provoke head out and Cantra got eaten, that's not good. <laughs> um, sometimes when you first start the battle, if the first head dies and it comes back, it's not the head you really want. Don't waste your time, just reset it and go back and wait for that RNG that you're looking for. Then if you get the second head that comes out, that's not what you're looking for. You only spent maybe 10 minutes in it. Reset it, do it again, and and, and try it again. Now you only need 20 million on this boss to get the max key for hard. Uh, we were just trying to beat my, my record of like 56 million uh, and we beat it. And that's the only reason I'm recording this video. But uh, let's fast forward this because this is going to take way too long. We're at 127 turns. By the end of this, they eat you and it only stays in them for two turns. And then the other guy eats you and like it's just it goes so fast. But we have two heads down. We're looking for one of the blue heads to pop back out. But notice that I'm trying to put a slow speed. Rural Guard's dead. Rural Guard's back. But I'm trying to put a slow speed on these heads to try, try and do more damage. Because if you put a slow speed on them, their turn meter obviously goes down a lot slower so you can do more damage to that dead head. Uh, so the provoke head popped out. So I'm trying to put five debuffs on it so that way Cantra potentially could uh, provoke it. But I have to kill that head as soon as possible because the blue head is not out yet. Now let's see. 
Let's see if we can get the blue head out on the right. And is that head going to be provoked? You don't want to put... All right, so it wasn't provoked. So now he's literally going to clear all of the uh, buffs out. I saved uh, Geo's fire thing because the buffs are just going to be cleansed anyway. There you go. All the buffs are cleansed. It's weird that he doesn't cleanse that. I didn't know that. He doesn't cleanse the uh, dead heads buffs. There you go. So we got the blue one back. Now we're all set. So blue head out, provoke head out. We're good to go. Now we're going to do a ton more damage during this wave. And we're just going to keep that up as long as possible. So let me fast forward. Let me fast forward a lot. All right, so again, blue head popped out, so this is really good RNG. We're up to 50 million right now, 164 turns. We're an hour into the into the battle. Let's go 56. So this was my highest at, at that point. So this was 57 million was the highest I've done. So I was like, all right, we have the blue head out, two heads almost dead, and I'm like, all right, we can definitely crush this goal. So we're gonna keep going. Keep going. Redhead does a shit ton of fucking damage. So you always have to make sure the fire buff from Geo is on the redhead, like at all times. But this one's good because the provoke head is not out. We have the blue head pretty high up on life. Um, so we're basically just putting it on auto and attacking the blue head to do as much damage as possible. Uh, where's our Royal Guard? Is this where Royal Guard died? All right. So we could have done more damage, but this is where Royal Guard died. I think the head right there, the mischief head, uh, ate it and I couldn't attack it down. So that's where we lost uh, Royal Guard. And at that point, it kind of is just like, all right, how much damage can we get out of this um, before we all die? So we're gonna fast forward, fast forward. We're up to 63 million, 214 turns, 86 minutes. All right, so we got the Provoke Head out and the Blue Head. I have to attack the Provoke Head because the Blue Head's almost dead. If the Blue Head dies, it's gonna be really tough to try and attack the Provoke Head. But Sile's about to be eaten this turn. Uh, so there you go. So we killed the left head. Let's see if it pops out. All right, now we're, we're kind of screwed. We don't have a blue head out. Uh, we have the provoke head out. We have somebody eaten. Our royal guard's dead. <laughs> and we're, we're coming up to almost an hour and a half now on this fight. So again, I don't ever want to do this again. Uh, that's why I recorded it. I was like, all right, I, this, is, this is done. I just want to do my 20 million, log off, and then uh, get my two... Um, two tokens for that one uh, chick that I'm trying to get. He's got two turns left. Can we kill him? We didn't. <laughs> so now it's basically just Geo and Sile. 60, all right, here we go, so we pause this. 67 million, 67.85 million damage on Hydra Hard. And look at this, look at this rotation. We used a free champion with Sile, a uh, free champion with Lydia, a uh, Royal Guard, OG champion, Cantra, a champion that nobody fucking uses uh ishmael because you kind of need them and then geo who you should have three of geos so we got 11.1 .1 million from Cantor, 17 million from geo 5 million which is a good showing from sile look at all that healing that she had she's basically there to just keep the healing keep everybody going and has a res uh lydia did almost 10 minutes she did 9 million damage um Ishmael is 9 million as well. Uh, I do have him in, I think, Giant Slayer, just so every time he, he attacks, he has a chance to proc uh, the Giant Slayer ability. That's why he does so much damage. And obviously, Royal Guard's at 14 million. So I was pretty... Like, Geo obviously is going to do a lot, but Royal Guard, he should be doing more damage, I believe. Uh, he did die a lot. He's very squishy. Maybe I can try our Royal Guard that is in more defensive set. So I have a Royal Guard that's not in Relentless. He's in the Poison set, but he has... 61k HP, uh, almost 4k attack, 204 speed, 100 crit, 234 crit damage, and but not a lot of accuracy. But he's very tanky. So maybe we can try that guy out next time and see if he does more damage. All right, so there you go. So that was the team. Uh, let's go over the gear masteries and everything you guys are probably asking about uh, for the champion. So this is the defensive one that I was telling you about. He's not the one I used, uh, but 61,000 HP. Um, not a ton of defense, but pretty good other stats. Uh, poison set. He has War Master. Uh, Doom. I, I probably don't need this because I'm probably not going to land a lot of debuffs. So you probably don't need this. You might be a bit better off going with the uh, defensive route. All booked out. All right, let's go for the one that I actually used. <laughs> so this is the Relentless set one 44k HP, 4200 def uh, attack, 
209 speed, 100, 215, this could be higher, and then 245 accuracy. Again, I said I used accuracy because I wanna land his debuffs, which is this one. Decrease speed, you can put, throw out a, this if it's not on anybody, and then obviously you're doing this as much as possible. And mastery is not even fully booked out, or mastered out. So that is our Royal Guard. Then we can go with Lydia. Lydia, I have a plus two because I used uh, Visix twice to get her up, but Relentless, uh, 69,000 HP, a lot of defense, a lot of speed, not a lot of crit, this could probably get higher, but I have a really, really tanky with a ton of uh, accuracy, uh, masteries, defensive, war master, and all booked out. Then we have Cantress, we have two Cantress, this one's not booked, I don't think I'm going to book this one, and then we have the main one, which uh, I was testing out a relentless set with somebody else, so I have to actually put this back on her. But uh, she was in this, because I want her to land as many debuffs as possible so she can land her uh, Provoke. Uh, this is why you have her, this Provoke right there. And then Mastery or things, uh, she's going to have two more Relentless things. This is probably a crit damage one for her gloves. And then just a helmet with as much crit rate and crit damage. So she should have 100 uh, crit rate, as much crit damage as you can, a lot of accuracy, um, a lot of accuracy. Speed, uh, over 200. Four, she's a defensive champion, so defense and HP. Uh, and then we're going with Sile. So this is the chick that I tried out. She did really well. She got us our most damage that we did. Uh, AoE just to hit that uh, blue head, so that way it can proc Ishmael. So the AoE, anytime you have AoEs, it's gonna hit that head and proc uh, turn meter boost. So having an AoE on champion is good. She brings us our res and she can actually slow speed. I don't know, she doesn't, she has a, over 300 uh, accuracy. So this actually does land uh, quite often. And then we run down here to boost our speed uh, as well as healing and war master. Skill should be booked out. She's a very good champion. Total stats, 6, 7 KHP, uh, defense, speed, uh, these are, uh, and then 300 accuracy. This, I, I did, well, I was using Godseeker in place of Sile. Um, it's just Godseeker dies too often, or I would say Rural Guard dies too often um, for her to keep healing the entire team because she only has an AoE heal, and if she runs up, hits her A1 and only heals one person. So Sile is in a relentless set, so she heals Lily constantly every single time she goes. Um, so that's kind of why I stopped using God Seeker, but she's still very, very good. And then obviously Ishmael. We have three Ishmaels. Uh, two of them are booked. Three of them. All right. So this one, um, I put a ring, I guess, on somebody else, but we have no books. Uh, so he probably even could do more damage. Uh, we have Giant Slayer, Defensive. Uh, I'll probably book him out next to Clamor's Clan to do just more damage. And then Artifacts Poison, so just, just so he can land more debuffs on that Provoke head if I need it. Uh, but also the Poison just do more damage for himself. That's why we were able to get him up to like 11 million damage. A lot of HP, because you don't want him to die. Uh, less crit rate, because you don't want him targeted to be eaten. Um, accuracy doesn't matter. And speed really doesn't matter so that's kind of what you're doing for him and our geo so we have three geos i think only two are we have three but right, so three are booked out as well this is our main one relentless so we can go as much as possible i want him to have a ton of uh, accuracy uh crit rate crit damage speed and defensive stats uh in a relentless set so we have booked out fully and then mastery is going down to war master somebody please let me in the comments below if war master or giant slayer i think giant slayer is the better one um, so I might have to remaster him out for a giant slayer, but you definitely obviously want to go down to here to get more longer uh, Debuffs out So that's our geo and I think that's the last one and world guard we already went over Yeah, so that, that was that was our 67 million Clan boss hydra teams. Hopefully you guys can build something like this If you guys need help, let me know our uh, clan isn't on I mean we're on brutal, but we're not focusing on brutal we are easy, it should be easy for everybody now just because with the, the nerfs that they put the Hydra. But normal should be easy, hard, again getting up to 20 million, should be able to one key it. And then brutal, you only need 7 million to get the low chest, 9 million to get the warrior chest, 19 and 29 million. Uh, who's doing 29 million? I know Sweet Louie is getting close, I think he did 21 million with a key last time. 
but these two you should definitely get every single time just so you can get the chests and then throw a key uh, on brutal just to get if you can try to get the lowest chest um, but obviously if you get over 9 mil you get the medium chest which still gives pretty good gear so all right guys let me know in the comments below especially with geo i need to know what which one's better uh so that way i can do even more damage uh, but i appreciate it good luck and we will see you in another video soon